Are we at an inflection point for private 5G in Germany? In other words, is it getting real? Yes, a clear yes from my side. We have seen already the industry supported all initiatives. They have really looked for a solution that really makes things happen. And uh, private 5G is definitely the technology that will become the new nerve system of the digital transformation in various industries. Of course, in the automotive industry, in the manufacturing industry and various others. And um, we see many, many companies today in Germany um, using private 5G as an innovation boost for their digital transformation. What are the key drivers for private 5G in Germany? Is it, is it cost? Is it just expansion of the wireless network, security? So, so we have two, two drivers. So first of all, it's innovation. How we build the, the IT infrastructure and connectivity for the future. So innovation is always a key driver in that area. The other is, of course, um, security, how you can ha create a secure environment to ensure a seamless um, uh, operation. So it's, it's a combination of both. Um, but at the moment, we see a lot of discussions about how we can build an innovative digital infrastructure layer that, that enables the, the digital transformation for the companies. And security is always part of the consideration. Could you give any examples? Oh yeah, we, we have some own examples. You maybe have seen the recent press releases from our side where we um, signed contracts with BMW Frankfurt Airport. We also have already deployed private 5G solutions for Cologne Airport. So you see the industry is responding now and um, using the technology to really open up for new innovations and use cases um, they have not been able to deploy in the past. So just the three examples uh, we have alone in Germany um, already right now. What spectrum is being used in Germany for private 5G and how is the licensing process? Traditionally in Germany you can request a license or a frequency for uh, 3700 to 3800 megahertz and the Bundesnetzagentur, that's the um, government body in Germany, would really manage that. You can um, um, buy a frequency and you have to deploy it with one year within one year with um, meaningful use cases because if you don't deliver something it will be audited and then you have to hand back the, 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 the frequency but normally the companies aim for um, a return within one year and that's a normal process and we have already I think nearly 240 private 5G licenses granted in Germany. Why was NTT chosen for these projects? Now BMW is a long-term partner for, for NTT, so it was a natural um, um, choice to have a conversation with NTT about how we can contribute to the BMW Innovation Hub. So that was um, a discussion that, that went on for a while and we have discussed how we can drive innovation and 5G was one part where we really could contribute as NTT in that, on, on that journey. With Frankfurt Airport we already had a lot of references um, and we also have the capabilities to have um, yeah, connectivity experience in, in such a scale. We have already rolled out Cologne Airport. We are a global operating company. We can run and manage 5G networks on a global scale, which was a key differentiator for, for them. Kai, thank you so much for joining us here today. Thanks a lot, my pleasure.